It's not every day that you come across a fierce couple, but Joshua Jackson and Jody Turner Smith are most certainly that. From starting off as a three night stand that just never ended, to a double engagement, to a secret wedding and having a baby during the pandemic, this couple has a story and a half. And although they have a romance straight out of a movie, they have had to deal with obstacles like racism and misogyny that no one should have to go through. Joshua and Jody's love story began in 2018 at Usher's 40th birthday party. Jody was attracted to her future husband right from the start, but despite her longing for him, she decided that she was going to play hard to get. Turner pretended not to see him and he had to yell across the room to get her attention. She, I was in the sketch show and she was at the place and she walked into the green room afterwards and she looked like she looks and that was that. Love at first sight? I mean, maybe slightly lower regions were activated first. She was wearing a t-shirt from a movie called Sorry to Bother You, where Tessa Thompson plays a character called Detroit. I shouted Detroit across the room. Not the smoothest thing I've done, but it worked, Jackson recalled. He then went over to her and did this cute and charming thing that he does. And from there, he followed her around the party all night. They were all over each other, gazing into each other's eyes and dancing away. The night was sealed with a kiss and a trip to the bedroom, and that marked what they thought would be a one-night stand. Both Jody and Joshua have said they didn't expect it to turn into a serious relationship, because neither was looking for that. I was not looking to fall in love again or meet the mother of my child, but life has other plans for you, he said. But the Dawson's Creek actor has admitted that it was definitely love at first sight for him. We were inseparable from the word go. When we tell our baby the story, I'm probably going to lead with, I saw your mother from across the room and just knew I had to be with her. I'll probably leave out that it was a one night stand. My wife is not telling a lie when she says we'd started off mostly with sex. Their relationship's peculiarity didn't end there. They dated in secret for an entire year and when they finally made their debut, they were already married. When did they get engaged? No one knew the couple was engaged because it was a private moment for just the two of them. But they got engaged twice and nobody knew about either. That's right, this couple had a double proposal, one from her and one from him. Turner Smith was adamant that she wanted to propose to Jackson and he was grateful for it. On New Year's Eve 2018, while the pair were walking down the beach in Nicaragua, she asked him to marry her. In a Jimmy Fallon interview, he was asked how he knew Jody was the one. I knew the moment she asked me. This is the best choice I ever made. He jokingly said as he pointed to his wedding ring. Did you know that it was going to happen? I or? did not know, but she was quite adamant and she was right. Despite the modern and sweet engagement story, Turner Smith and Jackson received a lot of backlash. This led to the actor stepping up to defend his wife and clarify the story. After thanking the outlet for allowing him to shed light on the event, he admitted that his original statement had a negative impact on the actress. The actor went on to say that although he was proposed to, he asked Jody to give him the chance to have a traditional proposal as well. We were in Nicaragua on a beautiful moonlit night. It could not possibly have been more romantic. Yes, my wife did propose. I'm still old school enough that I said, this is a yes, but you have to give me the opportunity to do it too, he said. Joshua then went on to clap back at the negativity they received and said, For anybody who is freaked out by a woman claiming her own space, shut the f*** up. You cannot believe the things people were leaving my wife on Instagram. The internet is racist and misogynistic. She did it. I said yes, we're happy, that's it. That's all you need to know. Good for you, Joshua. Jackson was appalled by the ignorance and ugliness his wife received. He believes it was a necessary but unpleasant education with the way people react to black women, and he said we still have a long way to go. I would wish for my wife that she would not have to rise above the ugliness with such amazing strength and grace. I am impressed with her, but I would wish that that would not be the armor that she must put on every morning to just navigate being alive, he added. But it was long before this negativity that the couple were married, as they only started opening up about their engagement a year ago. In August 2019, the couple was spotted leaving a courthouse with what appeared to be a marriage license. Three months later, the pair made their first red carpet debut, and the actress was sporting a diamond ring on her wedding finger, and so was her hubby. Turns out the couple tied the knot in secret. Not only that, they were also expecting their first child. The couple didn't publicly confirm either until a year later, though. 
Once again, they were faced with racism, as a wave of people were upset with the fact that she was married to a white man. Come on, people, it's 2022! The pair continued to take it in their stride and welcomed their daughter Janie in April 2020. First thing I did was like, hey, did you know I had a baby? <laughs> Have you seen my baby? <laughs> She's super cute. And I know all parents think their kids are super cute, but my kid is like really, really cute. super yeah, yeah. cute. <laughs> Although they are a relatively private couple, they opened up about pregnancy and what it was like to have a child amid the pandemic. The Little Fires Everywhere actor was grateful for support from his co-stars Reese Witherspoon and Kerry Washington, who were both mothers of three. During the show, I found out my wife was pregnant, so having a collection of super moms around me helped with everything from finding doctors to what to expect advice. It's fair to say these two power moms know a thing or two about raising little ones. The couple also opted to have an at-home birth for a devastating reason. She wanted to be in a place where she was as comfortable as possible, understandably. But the main reason was that the American medical system has a horrendous track record with black women who are prone to more birthing complications. It also worked in the couple's favor as due to the pandemic, most hospitals wouldn't allow partners to accompany the woman giving birth. Even though she was in labor for several days without any medication, she still found birth to be the most magical experience. Their love for each other is deep, and having a child together brought them closer in ways they didn't even know existed. An inside source said, So much so that the couple already started wanting baby number two in April 2021. Jackson and Turner Smith both dote on their daughter, and when they were getting ready for the Met Gala this year, little Janie said, I come work, I come too, I come too. How stinking cute is that? Her daddy also said, being an actress is going to be too small for her. She's going to rule the world. The couple also makes sure to tell the world what a great parent the other is. Get ready for some tears. For Mother's Day, he posted this. Dear Jody, on this most special of Mother's Days, I want to thank you for being the light that you are. For the passion with which you threw yourself into nurturing and protecting our child when she was in your womb. I have never witnessed a more powerful being than you through those moments. I love you. And oh yes, she makes posts that are just as tear-worthy as anything he says. Big soulmate energy, just checking in to say that us girls are so lucky to have you. I thank God every day that you hold both of us in your strong, capable hands. You are the best father and husband. Thank you for waiting for us. Are you crying yet? Because we are. Jody also seems to have the gift of manifesting because her first teen crush was none other than Pacey Witter from Dawson's Creek. Well, I was like a very young teenager. I didn't have any posters because like my parents were like not down with that type of thing. She fangirls over her husband like nothing else. The show's theme song once came on when they were in a Home Depot and she danced around her husband and lip synced the song. She also wears shirts with his face on them to promote his endeavors. I just, I love going on Amazon and finding things that might possibly embarrass him, but also that he secretly loves. <laughs> he loves that I am obsessed with him. I love to see him do stuff where he can continue to lean into the idea of him as the sex symbol that he is, because he's a sex symbol, she said. This couple is the perfect balance of sweet and spicy. In an interview, they were asked what their favorite thing about getting ready together for events was. Her response will have you gushing. I'm really in love with my husband. I'm doing a pretty good job of not shouting that from the rooftops as much as I'd like to. It's beautiful to see someone that you adore being adored. I want the whole world to see him the way that I see him. We high five each other all the time about how great we chose. Come on you two, give the rest of us a chance. This couple's relationship only gets better with time. They love each other deeply encourage one another in the face of negativity, and remind each other to be kind to themselves. Each of them is extremely supportive of the other and is aware of just how lucky they are. They fell head over heels, are still swooning, and their love keeps getting stronger. It's clear that there is nowhere they would rather be than with the family they have created together. Let us know in the comments what your favorite thing about this couple is. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any sweet or scandalous Hollywood romances. Be well and be kind.